The first semi-annual playtest event was held in the Advanced Computing Center for the Arts and Design in Sullivan Hall yesterday. Student developers were able to present prototypes of their augmented and virtual reality video games and simulations. As you come through and look at them, you'll discover they're broken. None, nothing is in a complete state. They're all in varying degrees of completeness. The event serves as a way for student developers to receive important constructive feedback on their work. But when we have multiple people who've never seen the game and they're playing, for, playing it for the first time, we always get a new fresh feedback and a fresh perspective of the game that really helps us to improve the game a lot. One of the prototypes featured was a virtual reality simulation of Ruby Bridges' first day of school. She was the first African-American student to integrate an elementary school in New Orleans. We've built this experience, um, it's a prototype right now, um, but basically where we put you, the participant, in at her height um, and we have you go through it essentially in her shoes. So we're having you escorted by um, uh, two federal marshals and the mother. Um, and you go through this mob sequence, which is what Ruby actually experienced on her first day of school. Other prototypes presented included a 1960s depiction of Havana, Cuba in virtual reality and augmented reality figures that can be used for tabletop games such as Dungeons and Dragons. Hey, next time that we have a play test, I encourage you to come out and play, please. It's, it's, it's good for the audience, hopefully it's fun for the audience, it should be illuminating uh, of the design process and it's great for our students. For Lantern TV, Andre White.